Alright guys, welcome back. This is uh, part two of my uh, my flea market weekend find. It was uh, the weekend here by January, January uh, February uh, 8th and 9th, uh, 2015. Again guys, this is uh, Monster Will coming at you. Uh, to try to finish up the rest of this, uh, this uh, fantastic uh, flea market find that I had this weekend. Can't complain. And, uh, a week before uh, the first K day of the year, you know, I'm feeling good. So uh, let's get back into it, guys. Um, first one up. So Lexus SC400, the Dragon Wagons, uh, nice black, this neon green interior. Um, the little dragon on the side here. Well, a little Hot Wheels logo back here to drag with the Hot Wheels inside of it. Um, really good looking car. Um, real funky colors. And I, I picked this one up because uh, my brother-in-law has one of these Lexus. Uh, he actually owns one. So whenever I come across that Hot Wheel, I end up picking them up and, you know, just rubbing his face in it because his car doesn't look as good as those. So. <laughs> Um, in the previous video, I showed uh, a few of these um, these mini trucks. Um, I found quite a bit of them this weekend, and really nice paint jobs on them. Um, I like this casting a lot, just because it has so much going on in the bed of the truck with all the, the subwoofers and like the amplifiers and you know the, the motor sticking out there and it's chrome and just a overall good looking vehicle. You know just. Can't go wrong. What we got here uh, Ferrari F50. Uh, like I said before, uh, I'm starting to pick up um, Ferraris when I see them again. You know, not knowing what's going on with uh, Hot Wheels of Ferrari. Um, you know, if someone wants to enlighten me on that, please go ahead and uh, do so in the comment section. Um, but uh, I had to pick it up. You know, just classic Ferrari F50. You know, this was. Uh, I'm sure uh, th th this Ferrari F50 was uh, on a. Uh, everyone's uh, dream car list when we were younger, right? Um, or maybe even still is, you know, I, I still love to own one of these. So if uh, someone has a Ferrari F50 in your garage, you don't want any more, you can uh, give it to me, I'll be more than happy to take it. Um, I know this isn't uh, anything extra fancy. Um, newer car, the 67 Austin minivan. Good paint, I didn't have one of these. I know it's, it's a newer E-Case, uh, just came out, but uh, I'm in Florida, so I don't get stuff. Uh, the cases don't get here uh, like they do to some of you guys that are in California or Texas or further out west, so I got a, you know, just a, a mix of stuff. Um, same thing here, uh, another E-Case car, um, the uh, 2012 Ford Fiesta. It's uh, not the Treasure Hunt or, or, or the Super. Um, good looking car. Nice wide body uh, kit on it, yellow wheels, you know, just really sporty racing car type of a look to it. Um, 70 Plymouth uh, AR Cuda. Again, this is uh, an E-Case car. Um, saw it, liked it, had to pick it up. Nothing super fancy with those. Uh, the 90 Civic uh, EF. Um, it took me a while to uh, find this one um, where I live there's a lot of uh, tuners so you see a lot of uh, like little uh, rice burger cars like this running around so uh, these tend to go fast um, in my part of town because people want them um, of course I had to get one of these McLarens um, this McLaren P1 here and it's a beautiful car I know you guys have seen it maybe a couple thousand times or you maybe own four or five of these bad boys um, very beautiful car great to have it um, 2015 Mustang GT. I love the um, this blue and yellow works really, really well on this. Again, uh, e case car. You know, happy to have it. So picked it up. This was a, a quick Walmart stop that I did. Um, BMW uh, E36 M3 the race with all the stickers. I think I have the red one of this and the white one also uh, in a separate box. So. Back to uh, some of the uh, flea market finds. Um, this one here is uh, a very
very, very nice car. The, the packaging is dated from the early 90s. I want to say it's like a 1990 or 1991 model vehicle. This uh, swing fire. Um, and I absolutely love this thing. Um, very, very nice uh, Hot Wheels blue metallic with the white. has the a full white wall tire on it. Um, very nice like pinstriping on the hood and like all over the front fender areas here. I don't know if you can see that. Check that out there with the white interior. And it has the uh, like the Continental kit is what it looks like. It looks like the Continental kit with like the spare tire in the back. And uh, man, when I saw this thing, it was, it was everything about it's great. I mean, the uh, actual art on the card, the the uh, the blister part of the package is, is in good shape. A little dusty from uh, the guy that I got it from. I can't believe it. I get really lucky with things. It just tends to have a lot of uh, older Hot Wheels that are still um, really nice. Um, moving on here, I have um, a red line that I found. I think it's like an 04, 0, uh, 03, 04 um, red line. Again, I mean it's not you know like one of, like the, the 60s red lines. Um, I don't know if they're worth anything or not. To be honest with you. Um, but I mean, I really, you know, I, I don't collect them um, for for money purposes. I mean, I just I collect what I like, um, you know, something unique and different, and uh, you know, just like the red line stuff, you know, they're they're uh, collectible, you know. So I had to kind of pick it up and make it part of my uh, my lineup there. Um, nice gold color. Um, has a little Hot Wheels logo on the side and the little the circle um, with the R inside of it. See that I'm to get as close as possible and hopefully want to store. So, yeah. So, great car. I, I was uh, excited when I found that one. Um, again, going back to the Ferraris, I'm, just, I'm trying to pick up as many Ferraris as I can. Just uh, whatever I find, I pick up. Um, it's one of the, uh, the hot ones, Ferrari GTO here. So I know that uh, I think Mattel or Ferrari is making more of these again. Um, when they're trying to get back to like uh, stuff from like the 60s and 70s. So I mean, even though it's you know like one of the uh, reproduction ones, because this was made in like 2011, so it's like a 2010 car. Um, but uh, but yeah, it, it, it's it's still nice to see it again. It is a Ferrari, uh, so you know I, I am picking these up whenever I see them. If it's a Ferrari, it's going to go home with me. Um, you know, that's it. So no if, ands, or buts about it. Um, 96 uh, Pontiac GTO, or 96, uh, 67 Pontiac GTO. Um, a nice teal green color, some metallic white flames with like a, a silver uh, outline to the flames. Very happy when I saw this one, too. Um, Corvette convertible, 58 vet convertible, some, some Wasteland series, um, it has like these skulls on it, the, the car itself is a nice purple, um, but the, the paint on it, it's like a, a black with like an orange outline on the black, and a very nice, crazy looking skull right on the hood. Some other pretty intricate designs around it. And, uh, again, I, I hope this comes out good on the camera. I, I am using uh, just my GoPro, and the lighting isn't the best, so I, I hope this comes out nice. If it doesn't, I mean, I do apologize. I'll try better next time. Um, again, I, I'm a fan of pinstriping, um, nice paint jobs. Pinstripe Power Series, Auburn 852. Um, very classy car. The pinstriping on this is just beautiful. Um, I, I, I had to have it, you know, because to me this is uh, this is Hot Wheels art. To me, you know, this is uh, it, it's it's beautiful stuff that you just don't see much of anymore. Um, so uh, again, I needed it. <laughs> had to own it. Had to own it. Uh, let's keep going here. So 
2004 first editions of Cruise Batmobile. Um, I am a huge Batman fan, which I'm sure a majority of you guys are also, but uh, I am very, very big into the Batman. So uh, whatever Batman Hot Wheel I see, I own. Um, so I try to buy them as I come across them. Um, whether it be smaller basic like this or some of the uh, entertainment series, I see it, I'm taking it with me. Um, here you go, uh, custom 77 Dodge van. Um, I haven't seen anything like this in a while, to be honest with you. I know this is a, a newer vehicle, but uh, like the top is clear, it gives you a nice good view of the inside. You guys can get that there. Yeah, cool. I hope, perfect. Um, yellow wheels, the faster than ever, they're staggered, so the ones in the back are huge compared to the ones in the front. Um, with like a little green inlay. Um, you go to stuff. Moving on. Um, hallway hauler tag rides. Um, I noticed that this one compared to the new hallway hauler is kind of completely different. This one, uh, I think the new hallway haulers have some kind of uh, wind guard up top here, something like that, um, but I mean, this thing is just awesome looking, um, had to jump all over it when I saw it, it was just a uh, great car, um, it's from 05, what it says, um, oh, getting back into the E-Case cars, um, found me a Homer, uh, this is uh, my first uh, basic Homer, um, I do have one in the uh, uh, entertainment series, um, but you know, I mean, this is just like one of the coolest cars on the planet, man. You know, it's, it's, it's a Homer. You know, it doesn't get you know much cooler than this thing, right? So, yeah, you know what? The first one of you guys to tell me what this back capsule was used for, um, I'll have to give you a special shout out. You know, I know I'm just uh, kind of getting started here, but. If you guys uh, remember watching this episode when Homer designed this car, if you can tell me what this back capsule is for, I definitely have to give you a special shout out. So, I remember what it was. I saw the episode. It was uh, one of my favorites. Um, so, let's keep moving forward. Uh, 67 GT, 67 Shelby GT 500. Um, good looking car, man. This thing reminds me of uh, Eleanor or maybe even Bullet. Uh, if you guys remember uh, Eleanor from Gone in 60 Seconds. Um, or the Bullet Mustang from Bullet. So, good looking cars. Green and gold really, really go great together. Especially this green, there's a nice metallic to it. So, can't go wrong with that. Moving on. Um, picked up um, a few Zamax. Um, Zamax Silverado. Again, I just, I like the Zamax just because of the color um, of the actual brushed aluminum Zamax to it and like most of the uh, like colored paint jobs on it with the flames and whatnot. Um, I think they're going to uh, pop nicely. So, uh, just another Zamax with the Moon Eyes, the, uh, the custom Beetle. So, um, newer one, this last year's model, the 2014s. I'm sure you guys have uh, seen plenty of these here recently. Um, you know, I think I've seen them with a lot of you guys. Um, you go a little Subaru action for you. Um, the hatchback uh, WRX STI. Um, this is a, a nice car in general. Uh, seeing it on the street, I just I had, a, I had a jump on it. Um, I haven't seen this particular uh, variation of this one with the, uh, the wheels and the paint. So, you know, it was, uh, it was new to me, so I had to, I had to get that. Um, Corolla, Zaymac Corolla, I think I have some of these already. Um, but I think the uh, A86 Toyota Corolla is uh, one of my favorite castings of all times um, that, uh, that Mattel uses on the Hot Wheels. So whenever I see something Corolla, I do... I, I automatically jump on it, um, even if I have a few of the same ones already, you know, I just, uh, I gotta get it, I feel like I uh, just pass it up. Um, now, here's another old 
to um, the high rackers. Um, these particular vehicles are pretty big in the south. Um, they call them donks, where you got uh, you know something like a muscle car like this, and uh, they lift them and put these overly huge wheels on them. Uh, this is a series of five cars. This is number five of five. I got really lucky this weekend because uh, I actually picked up all five. There's a 63 Impala, done the same way, um, overly huge wheels, Let me get you a better look at this thing. Um, the paint on it is great, very nice graphics, the, the, the tempos on it um, are great. It's a 63 Impala, I mean this is very uh, iconic car. You know? popular all over the place. This is number three of five. Uh, same thing in the Dons, uh, Monte Carlo, um, a newer Monte Carlo, I would say. Again, lifted with the uh, big rims on it. So, and again, I mean, this is stuff that uh, where I'm at in Florida, you, you see a ton of these things on a daily basis. Um, number two is a 71 Buick uh, Riviera. This is a, a, another favorite uh, casting of mine. Um, I think I have a couple of the uh, low riders um, in the Hot Wheels um, with this casting. And uh, I, I, I like the casting. I don't know how I feel about these um, these uh, high rakers. Um, I guess they're cool. You know, it, 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 it's a custom car, you know, so uh, to each his own. Um, you know, if you customize it, I'm going to love it. So, you know, that's kind of all that matters. Um, and at number one of five, is another one of my favorite castings. Um, Montezuma, which, I mean, I think it's supposed to be some kind of a, like a G bodies, uh, uh, some kind of a Chevy G body, um, like a Regal or, or a Monte Carlo um, with the uh, target top. Um, but again, so this was uh, the very first one in the series. Kind of, uh, I did I did count them down backwards. That was done intentionally because you know this is one of 